Hello everyone, I'm Saeed. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write the code that can be run before and after unit tests. Have you ever think, is it possible at all? Yes, it's possible in XUnit library. It's exactly like the action filters in our uh, controller action, the API. So it can you can run some code before running a test and then after test is passed or failed, you can uh, make sure that some code is run. Uh, here I have a default test. So first let's run the test here and make sure it's passed. I hope. Okay, it's passed. In the XUni, there is an attribute uh, for exactly this purpose, for having some code that can be run before and after. Okay, let's uh, add a new attribute here. Let me call it before after attribute. Okay, there is an attribute called uh, before after test attribute that is in XUnit namespace. There is a bunch of method that you can override when you are inherited from that attribute. So if I write override, I can see these uh, methods after and before. There is another method and property that uh, we are not going to use it, uh, but uh, you can work around with it. Like type ID, match object is default attribute. We are going to use this after and before method. Okay, let's go for before first. It will accept this um, method info. So this method info is when you are using the attribute, you need to put this attribute above your um, unit test. Okay. And this method info is telling you, okay, who are using this um, attribute? For example, this is a method name. This is a, any, anything about that color. Let me just put some property here. For example, name. Okay, thanks for this intelligence. Okay, and declare inside. It's enough. I just want to show you how we can use it. Let's go for another one that is after. It's this exactly the same. And maybe we can just put this code here as how you can use this one simply by adding, as you know, when you are uh, creating the attribute, it's possible to not uh, use the attribute word here. So simply you can just copy this one and then put it here. Let me just put some await here. Task, and then I'm going to add as delay example one second okay and put these breakpoints here and also in the test uh, implementation okay so let's run the test as a debug debug it should go first into the before method and then after. Okay, yeah, this is the before, and you see this uh, method info name is test one. This is our method name or a test name that we are using the attribute. And what is this declaring type? This is the kind of uh, our class name, the full name of this, uh, the path where is the test place in which class. Okay, good. So next, we need, to, this is before. So next um, step is the method implementation. Okay, fine. And after. Again, it's the same for sure. Yeah, test executed. Yep, so this is very quick one. But maybe you ask, what's the point? Where we can use this code? 
it uh, depends on your logic your project requirements but sometimes in some you know unit tests or integration tests when you want to run the test in the real implementation of your method you are checking some thing like environment variables or when you want to you have some uh, specific logic for example you say okay if i have this uh, property in the environment uh, variable then go for this logic otherwise go for this logic okay so how you can do that and in this um, uh, flow you can just write before uh, running test set those variables and then after you can clean your environment variables just one of the examples for sure you can use the other stuff as well i don't know like uh, cleaning memories cleaning if you are using cache or something like database or because it, it's uh, common for unit testing that before running tests you are putting some data aggregating or creating data but after test is run you don't need them anymore so you can clean them okay uh, i hope it was uh, helpful for you thank you very much for your time bye